Super 11. Cute, fluffy, graceful. Penguins are hard not to like. They're all over media, and that means we've got some video game penguins to share with you. Why penguins? Well, we've colored before on something hot, so it's only fair to cover something cool. Prinny the self-referential penguin isn't actually a penguin, rather a penguin-like creature. But he's such a character in terms of personality, and has kick-ass pirate legs and wings, so we gotta put him on. At number 10. No fair, dude! Our number 9 segment takes us to Japanifornia from Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, where many strange animals can cause tons of trouble. Penguins surviving outside the southern hemisphere? Impressive. I raise you, Mother Penguin Rifle has a job at the Shipshape Aquarium. Her job is to hand out flyers to guests for the aquarium shows, but she's not very good at that job. Rifle loves to wander around and cause trouble. Often she'll run away before guests can even take the flyers. They even have to hook up a walkie-talkie to her in order to track her location a bit better. This penguin certainly got happy feet. She may be cute, but she's rather feisty to most people. And don't be proud if she likes you. She only likes people that smell like fish. That means you smell like fish, which isn't a good thing. If Rifle is mean, Sniper is evil. The only person Sniper likes is Dr. Crab. This is because Sniper happened to imprint on the poor guy. We call them a duo, but are they really? That's a hard question to answer. However, I must say it's really clever that Sniper's got a nest that it camps in. Let's just go with it, as there's eight more penguins on the list. In the wide, wild world of Animal Crossing, you may run across a few penguins coming into your village. And nah, we don't mean all your mates crowding around your phone checking your village over your shoulder. So, which penguin is Peak Beak? Villagers are all set to the same few personalities, so it's hard to choose one. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta learn to chill, says Cube, a lazy Animal Crossing villager appearing in all Animal Crossing games. Now that's not that original. There are three other lazy penguins in the Animal Crossing universe. However, Cube is special. Why? Well, the answer is more shallow than you'd think. His name is Cube. He has a GameCube t-shirt. He's designed after the Nintendo GameCube. We love that Cube's goal is to be an astronaut. Tall order for a lover of Nintendo's second worst selling console. Yet Cube doesn't judge. Cube just likes to relax and let go a bit. We need more people like that. And that's why we love him. As annoying as that sound may be, the penguins from the Mario franchise are one of the standout moments in Super Mario 64. What wasn't remembered was the baby penguin's name. Tuxie, great name for a penguin by the way, who apparently waddled off when his mother was searching for its diet of herring and ice cubes. I'll pass thanks. Throughout the years, the penguins have been known as avid athletes, sly racing, swimming tutoring, and sherbet landing. While at times innocently pushy, the penguins in the Super Mario series were always friendly, which makes them all the more lovable, especially as they're penguins. Crash Bandicoot one up the Mario franchise by making their penguin species have a fully-fledged character from said species, like having Toad in the Mario spin-offs as THE Toad. Yeah! Penta Penguin can drive a car, and you don't even get cars in the South Bowl. Penta has amazing stats for someone who spends most of his time in the Crash games waddling there being adorable. Certainly a hard enemy for our Bandicoot selves to kill, from the northern light colored sparkle that twinkles in Penta's eyes. That's about all you're gonna get from personality, even if his name might be a play on the words for Pent Up. We'll never know what emotions Penta can't release, with his name also meaning five in Greek. Maybe it's the disappointment of not reaching number five. Starbound's avians can look a lot like penguins. In fact, mine looks kind of like a red penguin. The penguins in Starbound are straight up folks. When you see a penguin, be careful, they're probably up to no good. A refreshing yet shocking twist. I wouldn't watch Surf's Up with these geezers in. One example is the space pirate Dreadwing. He's quite a bit of trouble, but if you beat him, a local shady bar opens up and you can recruit penguin mercenaries to help you fight. Know that you're taking risks. You're messing with the wrong people, penguins. Penguin. It is funny, though. They made the cute, short, cuddly penguin the icon of the dangerous, pirate, scoundrel type of people. Although not playable, the penguins of Starbound are a mascot of sorts for the game, and the developers couldn't have picked one better. The name's Bird. Sergeant Bird. Penguins kind of have wings, but Bird takes the flightless bird to a whole new level. Flying. Raised by hummingbirds who taught him to fly, it begs the question who also taught this penguin to use the unnatural rocket launchers that speak the same language as Dragon. Regardless, there's no denying Bird as a penguiner. He's also dating a fairy and being a recurring playable character in the Spyro franchise, so you wonder, is there anything this penguin can't do? Well, he can't bring back Spyro from its murdered by Skylander's grave. But hey, he is voiced by Spongebob. 
If you want to pick a penguin to play with in Pokemon, pick Piplup. But as cute as it is, Piplup isn't the Pokemon we're talking about today. We're talking about its second evolution, Empoleon. Empoleon is the grand Pokemon. The way it stands up straight, the way it has a trident on its face, its serious demeanor, it looks like it wouldn't be crowned, it would rather take the crown and crown itself. Does that remind you of anyone? Yes, Empoleon's name is a combination of Emperor and Napoleon. Fun fact, he and Napoleon are around the same height. And what other penguin can fight with steel? Talk about survival of the fittest, Empoleon surely will be one of the last penguins standing. Penguins are goofy as young, but gain more serious body language when old. If there's one character that mixes this excellently, it's King DDD. Day Day Day! Kirby's arch frenemy has been around since 1992, longer than penguins are even expected to live for a fun fact, but he would be the ultimate penguin parent given how protective he is over his possessions, and how he can fend for himself to save himself and the people around him. Then again, he does throw his own minions. Dressed as a Santa Claus royal hybrid, you can't knock its clever nod to an emperor penguin. And unlike Empoleon, DDD has a hammer. Smart for someone who wishes to challenge an unidentified pink marshmallow ball who can inhale everything in its path. He even plays chess to boost his tactical nuance. Though there is one penguin in gaming with better crew navigation. If you're even slightly familiar with us, you were probably expecting someone from Club Penguin on this list. But hundreds of hundreds of friends waddling around, the best penguin has to look, act and live like no other. Enter the most adored penguin on Club Penguin Island. Well, he's docked there. Rockhopper the Penguin, who's not an actual Rockhopper Penguin, is the number one penguin in all of gaming. Why? Pirate Hat, Pirate Hook, the ability to grow facial hair, living in a pimped out ship that can cause servers to crash from the size of their parties he hosts. His explorative nature goes beyond any other penguin, so much so that his return is revered like the second coming of Christ for Club Penguin Island. Seeing Rockhopper's ship through that telescope throws the entire island of Club Penguin into euphoria. Rockhopper brings fun, festival, and luxury whenever he comes to visit. His ragged appearance is suffered by his beloved Puffle. Yeah, but his power extends by that he even donates to real-life charities. Who said pirates were evil? One of the biggest mysteries in Club Penguin history is the home of the Red Puffle, Rockhopper Island. Little is known about this place, other than the fact that Rockhopper found it, currently lives there, and met his best friend there. Whether it's the fact that his favorite food is what penguins don't normally eat, stinky cheese and pineapples, probably not together, the lore and his nuance guides Rockhopper to the pole position as the best penguin in gaming. Alternatively, all of our accounts have been deleted, but Rockhopper lives on, so there's that.